Hi everyone and welcome back to some more Phantom Doctrine. So, we are currently in the middle of the mission to rescue Omicron and one of our own agents flipped, that was quite unfortunate, and we also have an earth strike incoming, which means we should get into the building. And we still have one security guard to kill. That part should be pretty easy. Uh, let's see if we can kill him on this turn. Maybe, maybe not. Alright, let's drain some awareness first. And then we might be able to kill him with someone else. Let's take a look. What about Cable? He's out of awareness. Yes, 7 damage, that's not exactly a lot. 11 damage with his main weapon. Okay, Kodiak. Greaves. No line of sight. Bondok. We can just move in this direction. I mean, we don't even need cover if we can kill that guard on this turn. Greaves should be able to handle it. Let's take a look. Yeah, 26 damage, so one short. We can probably do it with the pistol. And then Cable can take another shot. Alright, sounds good to me. Let's do it like this. Birds attack with SMG. And then Greaves can finish the job with a pistol. That should work quite nicely. Jeez, so, Greaves... Uh, zero. Oh, he got extra defense. Interesting. Uh, that's slightly annoying. Burst. We need five more. Need me? Who can finish the job? Bondok? He should be able to do it. Get over here, Bondok. Here, 14 damage. That will do. Alright, let's finish this. And move on. We still got an enemy agent inside the actual building. Right here. We'll have to deal with that a little bit later. Meanwhile, let's keep moving. And we can overwatch, just in case. Okay, this is going to be fine. Alright, next. He is actually attacking us. Alright then. Yep. Whole 5 damage. There are stairs literally right here. Just inside. We might be able to flank him. Yeah, pretty sure Cable will be able to do it. Oh wait, no. Never mind, he has cover from this direction. Okay then. Let's see what we can do. I can go upstairs, but I don't think that's a particularly good idea. No, probably not. Let's just move into the building first. Like this. And then what? I like having cover. For obvious reasons. Maybe like this. Good enough. And the ghost. Ghost can take a shot. Hold on. We got enough awareness for a headshot, so if we can drain awareness from that agent, we might be able to just kill him with a sniper rifle. I don't see why not. So, we could use full auto to drain awareness. Sounds good. Let's do that. Here, we'll drain it to zero like that. And then we'll let Ghost use the sniper rifle. That sniper rifle is so good, even without proficiency in it. Yep, yeah, let's use it. It will use 20 awareness, but that's fine. Here, 161 damage. That's actually kind of insane. Alright, let's move. We got that earth strike incoming. Might want to hurry up. And get in. We might not be able to get in with Greaves. In which case, she will take some damage. But hey, we killed the agent, that's what matters, right? Overwatch, just in case. Yep, and overwatch in this direction. Or around us. Okay, this is fine. And one more overwatch. Here. Good enough. There might still be some security guards around here. That's a civilian, so it doesn't matter. 
There's still a lot of intel inside this building. Question is... Do we want to run around picking it up? Well, let's grab Omicron first, and then we'll see. There's something over here? I think so. Looks a little bit weird. So, Greaves, let's go. She can get inside on the next turn. We still got one more turn before the Earth Strike. Well. Alright, people, let's move. You don't want to be outside, trust me. You definitely do not. Up we go. So, Bondok can go first. Uh, oh no, he already moved. Cable can go first, that's fine. Kodiak. Up you go. Here, that will do. And we can still overwatch, just in case. It is a little bit of micro, but... I'd rather have it ready. Shotgun overwatch, that's fine. That's good enough. Okay, that's enough. Here comes the airstrike. That shouldn't be a problem. As long as we stay inside. Yeah, it's a helicopter with a chain gun. Which means it will follow whoever happens to be outside. In this case, Greaves. Don't yep. Like Alright, let's go grab Omicron, shall we? Hello there. Fancy seeing you here. Release, obviously. We're friendly, it's fine. So, now we need to evac. I would still like to grab some intel before we leave. Alright, let's move in. And avoid the chain gun. And let's look around at least a little bit. I assume there will be reinforcements. So, I don't want to stay here too long. Is there anything easy we can grab? There's probably a lot of stuff upstairs. Yep, I see some gear in that locker. Let's go pick that up at least. Cable. Overwatch just in case. Probably won't be needed, but let's have it ready anyway. Like this. Okay. Anything in this room? I don't think so. Nothing obvious. Alright then. So I think that's that. We still got Ghost. Where's the evac? Okay, we got several evacuation zones. We'll probably use this one. But let's not call it just yet. I'd like to pick up at least a few items. Just looking around. No security. Alright, overwatch, just in case. And that will be the turn. One more overwatch. Okay, done. We want to stay inside the building for now anyway. While that helicopter is outside. Okay, so, let's go grab the gear. That will have to wait one more turn. But there's definitely something in here. Oh, wait. This counts as outside, really. Well, that's slightly unfortunate. Yeah, that is actually outside. Uh, well, then. I guess we'll just take some damage. I can live with that. Not quite what I wanted. Is there anything else we can pick up around here? I'm not seeing anything obvious, at least. Nothing here? Okay, there's some gear inside that room. Off you go then. There was just one civilian in there. Yeah, this is slightly unfortunate, but oh well. Not much I can do about that. At least, not anymore. Alright, whatever. It's fine. Let's get out of here. 
I guess we don't really need Overwatch right now. Can we jump down? Yes, we can. So let's stay close to the window. Sounds good to me. Don't sneak up on me like that. Next. So we'll take some damage here. 40 damage. Yeah, that's not too bad. You will be fine. It's just a flesh wound. Yep, reinforcements coming. We should probably get out of here. I'll just grab whatever we can grab. Yeah, bone crushers, light armor, and documents. So that was like three items from that one single locker. Okay, good. This would be a good moment to call the evac, I think. Here's some more lot we can pick up. Uh, wait, what? Oh, there was a security guard over there on Overwatch. Well then, alright. Let's see if we can handle that. That's a lot of gear. Okay. Right. Hello there. Can we handle this? Yes, we can. Sort of. We can kill at least one, I think. Although, that might be too much awareness. Well, I can take a shot, it won't achieve a whole lot. But we can use full auto. Uh, no, I can't use full auto. I can use burst. Let's use birds then. Now. Can we get a kill? Yeah, we can do- no, 50 damage. Damn it. This will not be a kill. She has enough awareness to dodge. I don't suppose Omicron has a weapon. Get over here. Uh, he actually does. Hold on then. We can get this done. Alright, sure. We definitely can. Alright, let's stay inside the building still. We'll take a shot to drain awareness. And then Kodiak can finish the job. Sounds good. Here, that will be a granted kill. Which leaves us with just one more guy. We still got reinforcements incoming. So, let's just call the evac. I don't think I'll be picking up anything else. We got quite a bit of loot. So, yep, let's call the evac. It will take three turns for it to arrive anyway. Can we do any more damage? I don't think so. We can't get line of sight. As far as I can tell. Yeah, we definitely can't get line of sight. Not with Greaves, anyway. Definitely not with Bondok. He can't move anymore. He's a little bit far away. Should be fine. He has some help nearby. In the form of Cable. Can Cable target this guy? Technically, I could throw a grenade. That would be a kill. But that feels like a bit of a waste, maybe. Yeah, let's not waste a grenade on this. That's just one guy. How much damage can he possibly do? Really, not that much. I'll still use Overwatch. Here you go. Greaves, also Overwatch. And that's our turn. Let's see what he's going to do. He's just going to shoot Ghost, most likely. Yep, hold two damage. Oh no, what are we going to do? Reinforcements coming. A few guys. Alright, we can handle this. So first, let's grab Bondok. He's a little bit out of the way. I don't think he can do anything useful on this turn. Can he actually get to the evac fast enough? Uh, yeah, he should be able to. Probably faster to stay on this level and then he should be able to jump down through the window. Yep. Sounds good to me. Can't really use any abilities. No point using focus. And he doesn't have line of sight to anyone or anything. Alright, first this guy. We should definitely finish him off. We can just shoot him from point blank range. 
that works just fine. Bye bye. Full auto might have been a slight overkill there. Now, the reinforcements. They are a little bit far away from us right now. Let's see. Just partial cover around here. Well, no, there's a little bit of full cover. We still got two turns. This is close enough. We can kill one of them. Oh yeah, no, hold on, we can't. Never mind. Not enough action points. No point using headshot. Let's just use overwatch in this direction then. If they move towards us, we'll get a shot. That seems reasonable. Then we got Greaves. Let's see. I don't think we have a good shot from anywhere around here. No, we definitely don't. They will have to move closer, because I'm pretty sure they are out of effective weapon range right now. Yeah, we are out of effective weapon range. So, Overwatch. That will do. Bondog already moved. Cable can stay up here. In full cover. That seems reasonable. And Omicron. Just keep him safe. We can keep him on top of the evac zone. Oh, he can actually target someone from here, but yeah, this is too far away. As you might expect. Here, looks like that's that. We might as well let Bondok overwatch, but I don't expect that to achieve anything. Still, no reason not to use it. Other than time. Nice shot, bro. I think you missed. Yep, they are coming. Or at least they are moving a little bit closer. They won't be able to achieve much from that far away. Okay, one more turn. So, first, Boondock. He'll need one extra turn compared to everyone else. But he can live on the next turn. Yep, this is going to be just fine. So, is everyone in range? Kodiak is not. How can I help? But everyone else is in range. So, this is fine. Let's get out of here. Don't worry, we will get out of here. Can we do some damage? Well, a little bit. Let's take that shot. That might be a kill. Yes, that will be a kill. Nice one. Always some experience. I wouldn't mind experience. I think that's pretty much it. We can still overwatch, obviously. But I don't expect any amazing results from that. Yeah, this will not achieve much, but let's take a shot anyway. Drain awareness. He has full cover though, so I don't think we can do 65 damage right now. We almost certainly can't. Alright, this is fine. We are done with this mission. Kodiak will take a little bit of damage, but it's not much. It's fine. Twenty. And now we're done. Here's our evac. We don't even have to wait one extra turn. We are done. I'm here if you need me. All right, people, let's get the heck out of here, shall we? We got some really nice loot out of this. Hurry up. They'll be here any minute now. All right, that's everyone. Shame we lost an agent, but oh well. Not much I could have done about that. I mean, she flipped sides. So there's literally nothing I could have done about that. Evac. So, the results. It doesn't count as agent left behind because she switched sides. 
it doesn't even count as Agent Lost, which is interesting. 4 out of 7 equipment acquired and 3 out of 6 documents located. Yeah, that's not too bad, considering we weren't able to sneak around for too long. Let's see what gear we got exactly. So, conspiracy cell revealed, nice, we'll probably have to raid it. Training unlocked, intermediate firearms drill and trade contact. And what did we get? Bone crushers, that's weapon modification, light armor mark 2, nice. A shotgun and an LMG. Oh, that looks pretty nice. 71 to 101 damage with full auto, oh, that looks really good. All right then. And any new perks? No, doesn't look like it. Everyone is compromised, unfortunately. We still got that one perk on Theremin. Oh, and a perk on Crockett. Low profile, paramedic, cold blooded and dancer. Let's take dancer. I like that one. As for Theremin, well, I could pick up actor, it just won't be immediately useful. Maybe we should do that in case more agents flip. More maximum hit points, that's also not too bad. How many agents with Actor do we have right now? We got Indigo and we got Ghost. I think that's pretty much it. Hey, wait, not Ghost. What's this? Shock tactics training costs less time and money, alright. And Recon Talent, bonus experience for Recon jobs. Uh, where was the other guy? Cable. That was him. I don't think we have a third right now. No. I can always just pick it up later, we don't have to pick it up right now. So, how's our danger level? 260. Wait until Omicron provides the necessary intel. Bribe a KGB official for Kingfish's file. Special mission in Moscow, optional. Okay, we could do that. What could possibly go wrong, right? I think I'm going to do it. I don't see why not. Sure, let's get it done. Now, here's the beholder cell. Let's do tactical recon. And we should probably raid it as soon as we are able to. We can send like cable and solo, whatever works. And back at the HQ, let's take a look. We got a forger assigned. Actually, no, we don't. It should be someone who has exposed ID, but right now most of them are in the hospital. So maybe later. We don't have Indigo assigned to analytics because she has a talent for it. Alright, carry on. Despite your orders, Greaves left the hideout overnight. Oh, come on, seriously? Well, that's just annoying. Agent has gone missing in the aftermath of your decision. That's really annoying, but oh well. Mysterious package. A couple days ago, one of your informers received a package addressed to you. After making sure it wasn't a letter bomb, they forwarded it to you. The envelope contains a cassette tape annotated ears only. Destroy afterwards. You get a feeling this is another attempt to flush you out. Alright then, here's the cassette. Cardinal, eh? Yeah, we noticed they don't play nice. Nice try, My feelings exactly. I was going to say exactly that, literally. I know what you mean. Okay, so how many agents do we have on the roster now? Should be 12. 11, actually. Right, 11 out of 13. Well, we should hire someone. How much will it cost us to move HQ right now? Uh, at least 4,000. Right, we should have a forger assigned. That will be Ghost. He's not hospitalized anymore, so there we go. 
We need to make sure we'll have enough money to move our hideout before we get exposed. Carry on, but I would still like to hire more agents. We'll see about that. Agent report. Sickles skirmish tactics talent revealed. Alright then. If you say so. Another informer. Almost done. Oh yeah, that was the special mission. A little palm grease can go a long way. We have obtained Kingfish's file from KGB archives. Here we go. More intelligence to work on. A person. Alright then. Where is that? Here? That sounds like a person, but apparently that's not the one he's talking about. Where the heck is it? I'm not seeing it. Oh yeah, right here, Kingfish. Okay then, we don't have any intel whatsoever about that one. And no intel here either. Alright then. Well, better work on that. Few people are still hospitalized. Not for much longer, I don't think so. Alright, how much would a new agent cost us right now? Let's see... 900... The cheapest agent would cost us 818. That would be Spirit. He has quick recovery and two hidden perks. That's actually not too bad. We could grab him. Or 959 for someone with fire and movement tactics too. Okay. Mouthful is a little bit too expensive for my taste. Freelance. Abilities. Worn ally. Okay. I think I'll grab this guy. Okay, let's grab this guy. And how about body engineering? Can't really do that right now. Alright, we can assign him to analytics. At least temporarily. Sure, assign him to analytics. Good enough for me. When you were looking for me, yeah, Intel on MI6 safe house. Omicron delivered a top secret MI6 file detailing the location of several safe houses. There is one particular safe house that seems like the best candidate, but the file will require some additional investigation to confirm the exact location of the site. Time is running out, we better get to work. So, new secret file. Okay then. Where is that exactly? Place. Cornerstone, that's it. And we got a little bit of intel on that. Alright then. So, let's take a look. Real John is dead, alright. Whatever. Here. Does that? Any actual connections we can make right now? And uh, no, not really. Yeah, that was a little bit too early anyway. So. Back to the map. Enemy revealed. Okay. He's currently in the conspiracy cell. You're welcome to stay there. There. Tactical recon is done. And what's happening here? An informer. So, do we raid this right away? Maybe, maybe not. We could. However, that's going to be the end of this episode. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did or a dislike if you didn't. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.